Hey, welcome to the first episode of Pop Culture Beasts Halloween Horror Picks. I'm your host, Ryan Stockstead, director of the upcoming psychological horror movie, Eggs. Today we're going to talk about one of my favorite horror movies of all time, David Cronenberg's Shivers from 1975. If you think you're not afraid of the dark, if you think you have a strong stomach, if you feel nothing can shock you, if you say you don't scare easily, if you believe you've seen everything, then prepare yourself for... Uh, The movie is about a bunch of slug-like parasites that turn people into hedonistic sex zombies. Uh, This was written and directed by David Cronenberg. It was his first movie, actually. Uh, It was produced by uh, Ivan Reitman, and it stars Lynn Lowry, uh, an actress I'm a huge fan of. In fact, uh, she's starring in in my movie Eggs. It also stars Joe Silver and uh, Susan Petrie, I think I'm saying her her name correctly, Uh, and Barbara Steele. Shivers is about a group of tenants at the fictional Starliner Tower Apartments, an ultra-modern apartment complex built on an island near Montreal with all the modern conveniences. There's an Olympic-sized swimming pool, tennis courts, golf course, um, there's uh, shops and restaurants and dry cleaning and, uh, of course, the on-site medical clinic. Uh, which is where our hero, Dr. Roger St. Luke, played by Paul Hampton, works with Nurse Forsyth, played by Lynn Lowry. The movie actually opens on a murder-suicide. An older man is seen just butchering a teenage girl. He, like, cuts her open and he pours acid inside of her. Of course, later we find out that uh, he's not trying to kill her so much as he's trying to get rid of the parasites. Rapidly, as you can imagine, the situation at the Starliner apartment spirals out of control with the good doctor and his nurse uh, frantically running around trying to survive uh, this night of terror as uh, uh, people are aggressively attacking each other in the complex uh, lustfully and uh, just oversexed zombies. The other thing is that these, uh, these slug parasite things, um, you know, they seem to, to, if you leave them in too long, they just come bursting out of you. So there's people who they're just bursting out of their guts and stuff like that and running around the, uh, the hallways. Uh, and they'll leap right into people's mouths and all kinds of horrible things. Um, if all of this sounds a little bit like Alien, um, that's, that's, uh, uh, that's not too far off the mark. In fact, uh, Dan O'Bannon, who wrote the script for Alien, has admitted that he's a big fan of Shivers, and he borrowed some of the, uh, uh, some of the ideas uh, for Alien. In fact, um, when David Cronenberg showed uh, a later screening of, of Shivers to an audience in uh, around 1980, uh, a man angrily stood up and accused him of stealing uh, from Alien. And, and Cronenberg had to point out to him that uh, no, in fact, this movie actually was made and released four years before Alien. One of my favorite moments in the movie is a scene where Barbara Steele is taking a bath and of course the slug parasite drops into the bath water and uh, we see it slowly squirming its way and it kind of even looks like a penis. You know, this is David Cronenberg, you know, total body horror here. He's got this like penis looking slug and it's moving slowly between her legs. Uh, A scene which is borrowed uh, uh, quite obviously in James Gunn's Slither, another uh, very fun horror movie that I'm a fan of. There's a great monologue that Lynn Lowry gives where she talks about this nightmare she had and, and, and describes in graphic detail how she's sort of won over to the idea of um, sort of disgusting acts uh, actually being erotic. He tells me that even old flesh is erotic flesh. That disease is the love of two alien kinds of creatures for each other. That even dying is an act of eroticism. Shivers was filmed on Nuns Island near Montreal. Uh, At the time of its release in 1975, it was the most profitable Canadian 
uh, film of 1975. There was some controversy uh, upon its release. Some of the critics uh, were highly critical of the fact that uh, the film was made using Canadian film funds, but I think history has shown that uh, it was a good use of the, f of the money because it launched um, arguably one of the most important uh, careers of the genre. David Cronenberg has gone on to make some of the most important and iconic horror movies of all time. Uh, of course there's Scanners, The Brood, Dead Ringers, Videodrome, the list goes on and on and I think Shivers holds a, uh, a nice place uh, in his body of work. He was awarded the Best Director Prize at the International Sitges I believe I'm saying that properly, um, film festival, the famed horror and sci-fi film festival that's held in Spain every year. Uh, the version of the DVD that I watched is the Image Entertainment DVD from 1998. It's long out of print. It uh, sells for like a couple hundred dollars on Amazon. Or if you don't have that kind of money, um, you know, you can, you can try to get a copy of the uh, the British uh, Blu-ray release that just came out this month. Um, I believe Lionsgate uh, is preparing a Blu-ray release for the United States market. Uh, hopefully it'll be out this year. And uh, reportedly there's a remake in the works. Uh, that's been rumored for years now. I think three years I've been hearing about it at least. So um, I don't know if it's ever going to happen. So thanks for watching Pop Culture Beast Halloween Horror Picks. Uh, I'm Ryan Stockstead, director of Eggs. Uh, be sure to check out our Kickstarter campaign if you like Lynn Lowry. Uh, in Shivers, you're gonna love her in Eggs. Uh, it also stars Dwayne Whitaker. Uh, you remember him in Pulp Fiction. He plays Maynard, the sadistic um, owner of the Mason Dixon pawn shop, the one who tries to rape Ving Rhames and Bruce Willis and winds up getting stuck with a samurai sword instead. And we have a contest going as well. If you go to the Kickstarter page and be the first person to make a pledge, any dollar amount, could be a dollar, could be a hundred, doesn't matter to us, any dollar amount, make a pledge, and then leave a comment. It's important you leave a comment. Don't just send us a message. Leave a comment and tell us that you watched the first episode of Halloween Horror Picks and name the movie referenced in the shirt that I'm wearing. And do those things and we will uh, uh, add a Crown Prince Productions movie pack to whatever reward you're getting. You can also like us on Facebook, uh, follow our Twitter feed, and if you haven't already, be sure to follow the Pop Culture Beast Twitter feed. Uh, and subscribe to the Pop Culture Beast YouTube channel. Thanks again for watching. Watch horror movies. I'll see you next time.